This is the second video in this series about using Limelight to Lightbox within another element on the page. So using the target setting in Limelight, we can show our content in a section or another element on the page instead of in a modal Lightbox. If you haven't watched the introduction video to using targets with Limelight, then I suggest you watch that first. But hopefully you have, so let's get on. Here on this page we've got a sidebar stack. Now this is not mandatory at all. You can use this, you can build your layout how you want. But the reason we're going to use this layout is because we're going to recreate the Chroma examples page. Now the Chroma examples page has got uh, a sidebar and it's got a menu up the right hand side where we can see lots of different examples of the Chroma menu uh, doing different things. Now, with a site like this, it's always difficult because the main site has got its own menu. And when we're trying to show examples of menus, you end up with two menus on the screen and that's, that's awkward. So what we've got here is this main part of the page is actually a light box. And you can see we've got our close gadget at the top right of that part of the screen. Down the right hand side we've got a series of links which are just got class names to the chroma to the uh, limelight light boxes uh, and in this case i think we're using a limelight launcher but you could just use the class name and we've got our main part of the page here when everything else is closed we see the site menu this is the actual page in the examples uh, the examples page in the site so all we're doing is putting something over the top of this. So if we say look at the slide away headers page, when we open that, we're lightboxing this over the top of the page. But the effect is quite nice and it means that we end up with a very coherent structure to our page. And so there we go for a, a foundation example. And then when we go back to examples home, it closes all the light boxes. The other thing you'll notice here is that we're in we've got a lot of pages here there are 15 20 pages in the example site we can see the example site here and all the pages in it so the example site itself is a separate site which works completely as a self-contained site so we've got no problems with uh, SEO or if people go to the actual page links for that site but then when we lightbox this site uh, it, we bring it into this side of the page but this page if i just refresh this page you'll see how fast it loads okay it just appears straight away and that's because all the content that we're seeing here all these different pages from the other site are all lazy loaded so all the loading of these pages happens after and only when the actual page in our site has loaded so nothing gets nothing gets slowed down and it means then that user doesn't have to wait. We can go between one page and another page in the in the site. Uh, we can see all these different examples instantly. So it's quite a nice way to manage um, large amounts of content. And we're going to see how to do that now. So back in Rapid Weaver. We've got our, our layout. Now I've just colored the backgrounds for now just so that we can see where they're going to go. So what we've got is we've got a sidebar and we've got a sections pro that is set to be, in this case, 100% height. And we're not gonna to worry too much about the mobile layout at this moment, but for mobile, obviously you just stack it and have the menu above or something like that. You can, you can decide what you wanna do. If we just quickly preview it, you'll see that this is what we've got. So we've got our sidebar and our main content areas. Now, the first thing we're gonna to need to do, as we know from the introduction, is we're going to need to give our section a, an ID to target with our limelights. So that's gonna be sec one, just for the sake of it, it's easy and simple. And we're going to have our limelight stack. And before we do anything else, while we remember, we're going to set this stack to open within that section. Okay, so up at the top, we've got our target settings. We're going to say sections pro, and we're going to say sec one. 
Now, our host sizing, we want to scale our content, scale our limelight content to fit the host stack. Because our host stack we've set to 100% screen height. And so we're going to scale the light box to 100%. It'll still scroll and everything. We're not actually going to scroll the contents of the light box. We're going to scroll size the light box itself to 100% high. Um, we can see this now if we just do a web page this is going to default to uh, the big white duck home page and we'll call this BWD so that's our trigger uh, which we're going to have a class name for and in the simplest case if I just put a header on here and we were to change the text to BWD we don't need a limelight launcher just for quick test we can just give this a custom class of BWD so it matches our launch ID and straight away we've got our web page on the page and there we go there's the big white duck site and you'll notice we've got our limelight close gadget over the top of the menu so we'd want to put that somewhere else or do something with that but very very quick and simple in its default state how do we do the lazy loading stuff that I talked about? Well, we've just got our lazy preload set in there. That's all you have to do. And it happened pretty quickly because this page was not loading anything else. But if we were loading 10 or 15 of these, these frames, without it, it would have been quite slow. So with iframe web page content, images and most things really, you're probably better off using the lazy preload on any page so that the main page can get on with loading without the uh, limelight content slowing it down. So by way of an example, let's just uh, rebuild a little bit of the Chroma examples page that we saw before. So if we recall, this was the page. We've got our page content, which is just inner sidebar, normal content on the page. And then we're lightboxing these other pages from the Chroma examples website, which is a separate site, which is here. Um, so we can go back to the home, the, the menu on here, and we'll pick a page. So let's 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 do uh, the slide away header page because that's a bit of a different color. There we go. It's a black and white color, so it'll be obvious we've got it. Um, let's just copy that URL and. We'll change our link in our iframe to that. Now let's let's use the limelight launcher this time because although you can launch with a class and that's great, the limelight launcher is good when you're making something akin to a menu like we're doing here. So let's get rid of that header and we're just gonna we're just going to uh, put a bit of, of text in there. You can use whatever text you like, but I just don't want it to be bold headers. So we're going to call this simple chroma just for sake of argument. Um, and the limelight, let's just have it to uh, dim when open. So whichever one is open, we can see we can style it and change its color, which is probably more appropriate, but uh, we don't need to do that now. And we're going to call this link simple. So we're going to open a limelight with an ID of simple so we must remember to change our ID here to uh, to simple because we had it set up before for the BWD page. Okay so we can just quickly check that. And we click on our link and there we go and in it comes and it's there instantly just animates in because we've lazy loaded it. Now the other thing we'll do is we'll just put a bit of content on the page and we'll use the uh, the content from the the actual chroma page so there we go we've just pasted this in. this is just the the stuff that we don't need these these markers because there's no actual chroma on the page anymore this is just a bit of, of that that page so let's just see what it looks like now okay so we've got our main part of our content which is just in this project file and then when we click this we're going to pull in a light box over the top of it okay 
we can't see the uh, the close gadget we need to address that because that's white on white but we start to build this page up now I think it's time to get rid of those uh, those colors that we uh, we set up and I'm not going to do hundreds of these but let's just do one more page so let's say just have one of the basic examples simple change on sticky fix so this is the page where the menu goes gray and grows a bit okay so let's just grab that copy that URL and we'll uh, we'll add a new uh, web page iframe let's just paste that URL into it and we're going to call this one sticky fix and lazy preload that too and then we're going to need a another launcher so we'll uh, let's just drag copy that one and it's called sticky fix let's just make sure the text matches that just so that we know we've made a nice uh, menu type structure and what we'll do let's see as though it is a menu let's uh, style them a bit more so when they're highlighted the uh, the text will just go red so it'll it'll behave a bit like you'd expect a menu to behave so that's called sticky fix we've got our limelight called sticky fix so uh, let's preview it so now we've got our two pages here so we've got our original one which is the uh, the slide away header and you see the page behaves perfectly because it's in an iframe and then we can go to our sticky fix page and the pages are already loaded because they've lazy loaded so it's absolutely instant and uh, we can control um, which uh, information is given to the user in a very simple and coherent fashion the one last thing I will mention in the uh, in the limelight settings themselves is and you'll you'll have seen that on the Chrome examples page if you look closely you can animate the host content so the animation is set to zoom fade for all these light boxes so we can we can do a, a zoom to match on the on the section so if we preview that you will see this content here will just zoom out as the other one zooms in so very subtle effect we'll just close it and you'll see the section zoom back in so it just matches the effects together rather nicely and the the only other thing we'd need to do is is style our, our close gadget um, just like it was on the original chroma site which uh, is down in the limelight settings we would just need to set a, a color for the uh, ring other than white um, you can take your pick with that let's just make it a bright color that you can see for now I'm not going to go to a great deal to uh, of time to, to style it now but it shows you how this uh, this sort of setup works and just for the observer amongst you you'll have noticed the modal background showing through when we swapped pages in the limelight so you would probably just want to change that to white or transparent or something and that's about it for this video this has been a bit of a extreme use case uh, but it is something that uh, can give you new possibilities in the way you organize information on your site you'll probably use it more non full screen um, for different maps and locations uh, perhaps even a series of infographics where you lead the uh, the the visitor through um, a series of perhaps product descriptions but uh, whichever, I hope this has been useful in terms of seeing how it works and uh, I hope you enjoy using the stack.